Your whole time on Coronation Street has been yeah. amazing storylines, one after the other, really. Yeah, actually, yeah. you know, it's really funny because you say 20 years and you think, wow, it just feels, for me, it just feels like a couple of months ago. Yeah. And then I see all that and all the changes and all the amazing characters that I've worked with. And it's just, I, I felt quite emotional, actually, yeah. watching it all back. And actually, I loved when we were showing the clip of the Battersby's. You know, I love Coronation Street when they bring in a new yeah. family and you're never sure what to make of them. We all make, just, you know, kind of have opinions yeah. and then things change and people change. Oh. What was that like? <laughs> change. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like? Groundbreaking, the Battersby. Yeah. At the time, I mean, I know soaps now have quite a lot of troublesome families, but yeah. the Battersby's in those days, it was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I think it was, at the time, everything was kind of moving on quite nicely, and then we came along, and particularly because the girls were. They were girls and they were behaving badly. Yeah. It hadn't really been done before mm, in a yeah. soap. So yeah. it was quite shocking to everybody and to us as well because we were hated. <laughs> I think it was um, a Teletext poll. That's how far... <laughs> <Teletext. laughs> yeah. A Teletext poll of 97% said, boot them out, we hate them. <gasps> so it was really hard not to take it personally yeah. as an actor, yeah. you know, not used to that. But that's where they're so attention. good because they don't listen. You know, they're like, no, we, they're stuck with you. And, yeah, and, and they gradually... love to hate, they sort of grew to hate, to love us yeah. in the end. And of course you've got um, Georgia, Taylor, who plays yes. your sister Toya, back again. Yeah, our Toya. Yeah, yeah our yeah. Toya. Yeah, it's that must great. be nice. It's lovely because in the early days we'd gone through the same things together. We'd gone through all the pressures of, of being in the media that we weren't used to. And um, and then I went off and did a few things and then she later went off. But we've always been friends and we've been through the same things over the years. Yeah. So, yeah, it's brilliant to have her well, back. Well, you are good friends on and off screen and she sent you a little message, actually. Oh, yeah. she. <laughs> this is how amazing Luke's women have sent me all the way to Barcelona to do this video for you. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say congratulations on 20 years in Corrie. I can't believe it's been that long, um, especially as we're both still like 25. How did that happen? Um, I am so happy and lucky to work with one of the best actresses on British television every day. I love it a bit and I'm also really proud to call you my friend. So um, just enjoy it all. Congratulations. I love you and I'll see you soon. She's on holiday. So. Ah, see. Well, and imagine how, what it would have been like in the early days if there'd been social media when the yeah, two of you came yes, to the show. Yes. That would have been a huge pressure. I don't think pressure. we would have survived 20 no. years if that had been the yeah. case. Um, yeah, a lot of pressure, I think. Seeing all those years go by, it's quite incredible. So I remember we met, didn't we, on a we photo did. shoot, so yeah. like in 2001, yeah, 16 a long time years ago. ago. I've got the most hilarious pictures. Oh, you did? My hair went all like fuzzy in the humidity. So my husband <laughs> said, you know, put loads of gel on your hair and oh. spam it down and I had a burnt nose and I stood next to Penny and I just thought, yeah. oh, this is all going no, wrong. <laughs> the two of you look absolutely wonderful in the shoot. And it's just so lovely to see your journey and now being nominated Best Actress. What a, what a fantastic So these are your wedding future. photos we're talking no, about? No, no, this was just a little engagement. holiday. Yeah. Just a little oh, holiday oh. back in the day. But um, no, it's, it's wonderful to be nominated in the uh, act, Best Actress list for the Soap Awards, especially after all this time. You know, yeah. it's, it's not, I mean, God, I'm in such great company, so just to be even thought of is lovely and uh, I think it'll be a great night. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Um, your current storyline is obviously quite harrowing and um, I watch you and I just think how do you get into that role without <laughs> having a breakdown when you get home? <laughs> I, would, I would take it home with me so it's really a lot to take on isn't yeah, it? Yeah I think she's been through quite a lot of emotional things and you know I've obviously gone through good and bad times in my life but I think the writing really takes you there um, and because they write for the character so well and I can relate to all them experiences that she has gone through like you know just seeing all them clips every time we have a story I think well, why is she doing this it's because of all them mm. scenes that we've just seen what she's been through and and how her parents kind of dragged her up really and mm. and she was never she never had the support that she should have had and maybe that's but all of you I mean turns. Simon Gregson and, and Kim Marsh you all brought your personal experiences, didn't you? Because yeah. you, you've talked about you had a miscarriage yeah. and Kim obviously lost baby Archie and yeah. Simon's wife, I think, had 10 or 11 yeah, it was, it was a lot. miscarriages. Mm -hmm. And knowing that, I think it made the storylines even more powerful. I mean, they were very powerful. Unbelievable. Yeah. But when we all People read... relate to so, yeah. It was interesting listening to what you were talking about earlier about bottling up your feelings mm. and not talking about it, which is something that I did. Um, and I, as a person, I'm quite an emotional, like you, heart on my sleeve kind of person, but that was something that I chose to keep to myself because it was my own personal journey. And then this storyline came up and Kim and I had never really worked together before and we knew that what we'd both been through, um, it was gonna be tough. But in a way, 
it kind of helped me a little bit because I didn't talk about it, it got me talking about it and Kim was incredibly supportive mm -hmm. even though she'd sadly been through a devastating experience herself but um, yeah we, we, we kind of I suppose because we'd all had, had that experience mm. and been through it in, in various different ways that we could relate to it and yeah. we really and I think it did it. I think it does make it more powerful for us the viewer yeah.